So Patrick, my final question for you is importance of networking. Here in BC, networking plays a key role, and everyone says that you, know, you need to need some, you need to know someone in the work so that when you apply, your resume can be on the top of the list, mm -hmm. or your resume will be uh, taken care of better than other people. Yeah. So in that sense, what tips you have for newcomers who are not used to networking? They just apply and then they don't go to any networking event, or they don't. They are shy. They're introverts. So what can they do to shine and see that they can bring value? Sure, networking. Uh, <coughs> sorry, <laughs> networking is very important. Um, but we have to be careful in terms of how we're doing it. No one likes to feel that they're being networked. Yeah. Um, where I find networking is, is most effective is when it's genuine, when there's a genuine interest either yes. in the industry or especially the individual. Um, networking isn't about finding a job from that person, but it's about better understanding the context of the, the workplace, the mm -hmm. context of the labor market, um, and then meeting new people who can continue to inform that context that yeah. you're building in your own mind. Take advantage of asking questions of people. When you're out, you know, it doesn't have to be a, a formal networking event. Yeah. Uh, you know, it doesn't have to be related to your industry or the job that you want to get. Uh, if you're out with your kids and you're at the playground, talk to the other parents that are there. Yeah. Uh, you're at the grocery store. Uh, talk to other people who are there. And I think depending on, depending on the individual and mm -hmm. the individual newcomer, um, networking can look very different. Yeah. I mean, if you're, if you're here as an international student and you have an off-campus work permit, yes. say, um, it's great if you can find work in your intended field. But I always say the best job I ever had for meeting people was as a cashier at a grocery store in high yeah. school and university. Everybody eats. Yes. You know? <laughs> Everybody eats. They're all coming there. And you get to talk to every, you get to talk to people, sorry, from every walk of life. Yes. And I can still, I can draw a direct line from sitting here with you back to a couple who used to shop at that grocery store. Mm. And they gave me sort of my first reference for a job to that help me build my career. Yeah. Um, so look for opportunity everywhere. Yeah. But really make it genuine. Yes. Like if you don't have a genuine interest in talking to these people, then you have to ask yourself why. Yeah. Uh, and then look for those areas where you do. Yes. You know, and that's, that's critically important. The other thing that I'd say about networks, and I'm as guilty of this as many other people, is that we like to hire from our networks. Yes. You, know, you like a nice, simple fix. Yeah. Uh, we all do. Yeah. Uh, and so generally, I, I do want to know, like, or do you know anyone who might be able to come work for me that can do oh, yeah. X, Y, and Z? Um, and while that's great on one end, it's really bad on another because then it limits the pool yeah. with which I'm fishing. Um, but even though it's bad, we still do it. Yes. So even though we recognize that it limits our ability to potentially find the best candidates, yes. many of us still do it. Um, so this is, again, where the networking really, really matters. Yeah. You know, get your name out there. Meet people. Show them who you are as an individual. Mm -hmm. Not even necessarily as a worker, but just who you are as a person. Yeah. And that will tell someone much more about yeah. how you're going to function in a workplace uh, than anything else. And that's how we met. We met in a networking uh, event that's and it. we built relationship. And again, don't ask questions about, can you find me a job? So don't no. be like, have a, have a curiosity in mind. Ask them like, I want to learn. I, I'm here to learn and I can bring these values. And again, as you mentioned, the environment should be appropriate to ask those questions and you should be f feeling genuine and easy to talk to these people. Well, well that's exactly it. And it's, the, it, it's being genuine that really matters. And I guess one other tip that I'd offer is that, uh, and, and it builds off something you've just said, it's this, this curiosity um, and this demonstration of you know, what you can bring to the table, mm -hmm. you know, how you want to help build the community. Yeah. Um, Canadians you know, are very supportive of immigration. Uh, historically, we have been yeah. continue to be. Uh, and immigration as our community building, our nation building, yes. uh, is a very uh, important part of the narrative of who we are as a country. So for the individual to demonstrate how they want to play into that narrative, is equally important yes. and I think will resonate with uh, many people and resonate really well with them. Yeah. And again, with that, Patrick, my interview with you comes to an end. Thank you for taking the time to ask you a few questions. I feel that will be beneficial for newcomers or people in between jobs or people wanting to change jobs. I feel that yeah. that will be beneficial. And for the audience, 
Again, if you have any other extra tip in terms of networking, please leave it in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel, like and share, and tune in next time for other great guests that I have for you. And with that, thank you, Patrick. Thank you so much. Bye.